Okay, so when you want to use Mixlr and Spotify together, you're going to have to start by downloading the applications. So start with Mixlr, and you're going to have to log in to your account because to get a professional interface, you need to actually have a paid account to start with. So I'll start with my paid account for dance churches in San Diego. Now, you don't need to save this password, but when you get here, you can do live broadcasting. There's all sorts of tools, but you're not going to need this. What you really want is to download the software to your computer so you can broadcast direct from your computer. And there we go. Downloads a file. Open that downloaded file. Now you want to drag that Mixler file into the Applications folder. Don't just click on it, drag it in there. And double click on the Applications folder to find it in there. And you're going to want to possibly drag it to the docs so that you have quick and easy access to it later. Now we're also going to want to download Spotify's application to the desktop so that we can use that directly as well. Go ahead and download it and then try to install it. Yes, please. This may take a little bit. Now, once it's installed, you're going to want to log in to a paid account there, too. If you don't have a paid account, it's going to air commercials on you when you're playing it live. I have a paid account, and so I will be logging in with my paid account. Okay, and there we go with all my playlists that are saved. <clears throat> Any playlist you're going to play on here, you will want to save so it's easily accessible when you well, again, now I'm going to also drag Spotify to the dock so that I have quick access to it later on. We can close the browser, and now we really want to open Mixlr. You're going to want to log in again with your paid account. They'll let up some introductory things to get used to the Mixler interface, and that's all fine if you want to do it. I'm going to skip that for now. It's going to do a sound check. That's fine. Um, but again, I'm just going to get through this so that I can get straight to teaching you how to set things up. And here it's telling us that we've got broadcast to our own page is a possible thing we have. You see that the Mixlr Dance the San Diego sp uh, Virtual Dances is in the log box. That's our paid account. Now I'm going to unselect this and I'm going to drop it down to off. And I'm going to drop these other one down to off. The middle one I'm going to leave at 0 dB. And you want to go to select source and you want to click on Mixlr Audio Link. Now it's not installed in my computer yet so I'm going to have to click install. It's going to go through the process. We're going to continue. Install it. Type in your password for your computer. So it will allow the install to happen. And when it's done, it's going to tell you you're, you're going to basically have to uh, restart your computer now for this Mixlr audio link to work. And that's what I want you to do now. Close that box and just see if this, see it won't work. See, it's, if you do it again, it's going to automatically try to get you to download the application again. And you don't need to. All you need to do is restart the computer. Okay, now once that you've restarted your computer, you can go back to your apps. Now I've moved my dock to the left side of the screen. So you're going to go back to your apps and you're going to click on Mixlr, open that up, 
ta-da, it's here. And you're going to go here, and you're typically will be on built-in mic, but this is, you can see that my voice is making a sound when it's set to built-in mic. And that is not what you want for Spotify to come through. If you open Spotify, you'll quickly notice that it can, you can start playing a playlist. What do you see on Mixlr? You see audio movement, you're like, oh, well that's working. But no, that's my voice. So what you want to do instead is switch to Mixlr audio link. And unfortunately you now see nothing coming through and you're like, what's wrong, what's wrong? Ah, this is the key. This is the key that you need to be concerned with. Let me just bring this volume down. The key to this is now finally going to System Preferences. You go to System Preferences and you hit click on Sound. And here you finally, you see Mixler Audio Link showing up in your System Preferences. This tells you that your computer has definitely installed the interface for Mixler Audio Link. <clears throat> and you click on this for output only. You don't need input. Input stays whatever it normally is. That's fine. Output, you switch to Mixler Audio Link, and all of a sudden, the music is showing up on Mixler. Now I can turn the volume up now to full on, on uh, Spotify, and now you see what you're getting in Mixler. You're getting the audio waveforms coming in just like that. If you switch it back to built-in microphone, you get my voice. And my voice only. Mixler audio link. Now you're getting Spotify. And this is what you want before you do a broadcast. Now on a PC, you're going to have slight differences with the Mixlr application. You can see that in the Mixlr box, you have window monitoring, recording tools, help. Those menus are there instead of at the top of the screen, where it would be on a Mac. The more consequential difference is that you're not going to have Mixlr audio link on a PC. Instead, you're going to have something like Realtek high definition right there as your audio interface. Now what this PC user does is they select channel 2 from their speakers. And that allows, so if you're running Zoom through the computer as well, if you're trying this on a PC and this does not work for you, please let me know so I can um, troubleshoot this and make some amendments to the settings for you. So you are logged in. I'm logged in as San Diego Virtual Dances. If you want to hear it on your computer at the same time as you're playing it, you can click right here and go and you monitoring. And it says, oh, select an output device for monitoring menu above. This determines where your monitoring audio will go. Got it. So if I, in order to click that, I actually do have to go to this monitoring button here. And I have to decide, well, do I want it to play on my TV? Do I want it to play on my internal speakers? I'm going to go TV. And then... There you go. Now I hear it as well, but it's not going to give me echo like you might hear it echoing if you were playing the music on your computer speakers. Your computer microphone was picking that up and then funneling it into Mixler interface. And then, yeah, you would get a weird delayed echo and all that jazz. This way, you don't get any of that. You get one stream of audio going through to Mixler's broadcast and you get one stream of audio going straight to your computer. Now, you'll be ahead of the rest of the people if you do it this way. You'll be about 10, 5, 10 seconds ahead of everyone else listening to the broadcast. But that's why I usually use my phone to check to see what the broadcast is doing and possibly even play the music off of my phone if I want to be in sync roughly with everybody else listening to the broadcast. In Spotify, you're also going to want to adjust your settings. So go up here to, to Spotify Preferences. You're going to want to make sure that you have set in Advanced Settings. Come up here to Crossfade. You're going to want your Crossfade to be, to be on and probably be somewhere between 6 and 11 seconds for Crossfade. We often set it to 11. San Diego Dance Church, and that's pretty much all you need to do. You do not want to, you want to make it not set to auto-repeat everything, but that can be done 
um, very easily. They can you can deset autoplay right here. This is the repeat. You can set that to repeat, or you can set it to you can set it to repeat. Repeat one song over and over, or repeat not at all, and that's where you want it set. I also recommend downloading the playlist in advance so you don't have any buffering issues or delays. And all you have to do is click that button for download and it downloads the whole playlist for you. When you do the final broadcast, you're going to want to start this about 30 seconds before broadcast time. So at about 30 seconds to say 11 a.m. when Dance Church in San Diego starts, you're going to want to click start right here. Boom live now so now I've got 30 seconds before I'm gonna start Spotify if I want to hear what's going on I'm gonna click that monitoring button you can also use your phone to to log into a free uh, Mixlr account to hear how the broadcast sounds and that's how I usually do it to really test but here we are at about 30 seconds in I'm gonna hit play I can hear we are now getting broadcast. Another way to to check that you're getting that what you're getting is to go to open live page link online. And you can see what's actually playing. And that's what everyone else is listening to from your live stream. But really to test this properly, you should go to your own phone or some other separate device to log into that to really make sure you're in sync with what everyone else is hearing. And when you're done, when it's all done, when your performance is all ended, you can just click stop. So that's how you do it. Um, when you're done, you probably want to switch from the, audio link back to whatever your, your, standard, your standard audio situation is.